हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिटेक सुशील दिस साइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएसन ऑफ ए डी एफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड एंसर्स सो दिस इज पार्ट ट्वेंटी ऑफ ए डी एफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड एंसर्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन पार्स जेसन फाइल बाई यूजिंग द कॉपी डेटा एक्टिविटी सो हियर वी डोंट वॉन यूज द डेटा फ्लो वी जस्ट वॉन यूज द कॉपी डेटा एक्टिविटी एंड वी जस्ट वॉन डू द पार्स लेट्स एज्यूम वी हैव वन ऑफ द इनपुट फाइल and this is the json file and it has id name then the address and address is the complex data type because under address again we are having the sub columns those are state city and country then we can see the contact it is again the complex data type because under that we have the phone number and email id so in the output we just want to convert this complex data type into simple columns so in the output we just want to create the csv file and that csv file could be having id name directly from here and then address so under address we have state city and country so we should be having three additional columns as state city and country then we have contact so under contact we have phone number and email id so we should be having the phone number and email id as the separate columns so let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical so if you can go inside the blob stories go to the input container and under that we are having this complex json1 dot json file if you can check so it should be having all those columns as id name address then the contact and then we are having the second row which is having id name address and contact all those values like this now let me go inside the adf and here inside the data factory let me try to use the copy data activity so inside the copy data activity first we are required to set up the source so we can go inside the source and here we are required to create a new data source so here we should be getting data from blob stories let me click on continue the format that is json let me click on continue here we have already created the link service so i am going to use the same and here let me try to browse go to input container then let me select this complex json dot one file let me click on okay so it will be going to create one more data set and here we are good we can go inside the sync where we want to place this file so we just want to convert this json file into csv file and that csv file should be available into this blob stories and the format that should be delimited text and then here we can select the link service and then here we can browse and under the output folder we just want to keep that file so here let me call this file as parse json 2 dot csv let me click on okay so it will be creating okay because we have not created this blob so that's why it is causing this problem let me click on this none and then click on okay next we can go inside the mapping and under the mapping if i am going to import the schema so it will be going to import all the schema but here we can see it is only picking the first record it is not picking all those records it is always picking the first record so let me try to execute this and we'll see the output of this so it will be clear so in the input file we are having two records the first record we can see like id name address with id 1 and the second record that is having two so if directly we are going to copy this so it will be going to only copy the first record from here so let me go in output file and here let me open this csv file that we have created if you can notice then we can see it is only picking the first row it is not picking the second row so how we can do the parse so that parsing we can simply select and inside the mapping if you can see this collection reference so this collection reference will help us for doing the parsing so here let me click on this so it is an array so we can split this array and here let me try to import the schema again after selecting this so now we can see it is now passed and we can see id name then under the address we have state city 
country and then phone number email id so all those columns are coming correctly and we can simply try to execute this so we will be able to see the output now it should be going to pass and we should be having proper output so this got executed successfully let me go inside the file and trying to refresh it so here we are able to see we are having proper output that we were seeing in the source json file so now it is successfully passed so while we are using the copy data activity we can go inside the mapping and under the mapping we can see the collection reference and here we can select that json this is failing if you are having the multiple arrays under the columns what does it mean so let me quickly go here inside the notepad and if here we are having this array collection and under this array collection we are again having this skill collection so under the skill again we are having this array so if we are having such type of rows so on those scenarios it will be failing let me copy this go to here let me go inside the source file and in this source file go to edit and let me try to replace this json with this newly created json so let me go here and inside the mapping let me clear this mapping first and then inside the collection reference let me select this data and then trying to import the schema now our source has been changed so if you can go scroll down then here we can see this skill so how we can pass this skill again because we have only a single level of array that can be passed by using the copy data activity if you are having such type of scenario then we have to go inside the data flow and we can achieve it so by next video we will see how we can do the parse on this so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos see you in the next video